Hooray! So, I have restored the Hatomugi UV Moisturizing Milky Gel SPF 50 PA++++. So, um, some months ago, I've been having this product um, in very, very high demand. You remember I reviewed it um, in my previous video alongside products to use for the face. I recommended some soaps and some um, spot removers and I also recommended the Hatomogi UV Moisturizing Milky Gel SPF 50. So this Milky Gel has been in high demand for the past few months. This uh, Milky Gel I'll be reviewing and um, it's very very good for sun protection. It's very lightweight. This is one of the few um, sunscreens that do not give white casts and that just um, absorbs into the skin without looking ashy. This um, sunscreen, the reason why I like it is because um, it's very very um, large. You can see it comes in 250 milliliters and it can last you for a very very long time. I also like it because it has a very very nice fragrance to it and it's very very hydrating it helps to keep my face radiant and you know it gives me that glow it's made from koi seed extract and it brightens the complexion it's not just a sunscreen but it's a very 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 good moisturizer i noticed that it helps to um, actually moisturize my skin deeply and it gives me that glow and a brighter complexion as well this sunscreen also has several downsides, which I'll be reviewing in the video and I'll be telling you how to go about it. So stick around and I'll take you along this ride. If this is your first time joining me on my video, this is Femzy Good Life, where we'll talk about the pros and the cons of various beauty products. We do various recommendations and we'll help you to stay healthy and good it's all about a good life here on Frames a good life so please do well join the family subscribe turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified each time we post a video and please always do well to like my video that's the only way to encourage me around here so straight to it this hatomogi uv milky sunscreen um comes in spf 50 plus it's actually a milky like gel it's very very easy to use it has a dispenser and a very very cute bottle all you need to do is pump on it and it will dispense another reason why i like this product is because the product um, is very very amazing um it's very easy to use like i said and it doesn't give white cast however a few people have complained that it stings like when they put it around their eyes it stings so i would recommend that when you're applying it on your face you try and ensure that you do not leave your eyes open so please when applying it always ensure you shut your eyes just like you're using a soap before rubbing it around your face or your eyes so make sure it doesn't get into the eyes to so avoid that stingy feeling so this product also has an spf 31 but the disparity in price between the SPF 51 and the SPF 50 is not a lot. So it doesn't make sense buying the SPF 31. I think it's just a thousand or two thousand naira difference. So it doesn't make any sense. So I'd rather you go for the SPF 50, which has a higher coverage. So this sunscreen, like I said, it's um it goes for between fifteen to eighteen thousand, depending on where you are purchasing this product for it has skin soothing properties and it helps to prevent sunburn as well so this product the 250 milliliter sells for between 15,000 to 18,000 depending on where you are buying it it also comes in a very handy size which is the small top this is 80 gram so it's one third the size of the other one and it sells for about 10,000 which makes no sense you are buying 250 um, milligrams for 16,000 and you are now buying one third of it for 10,000. So it makes no sense. Except you just want something small and portable. Buying this 80 gram for 10,000 naira seems like cheating to me. So I would rather buy this 150 gram for, uh, for 16,000 instead of buying this small one for 
10,000 except you just want something handy and something you want to travel with but I think you get a better bargain and a better buy if you buy the 250 milliliter that's just my humble opinion anyway I know some people just like portable sizes so this sunscreen like I said some people complain that um, it's too oily it's I just like it it didn't break me out it gave my face this very glowy it's, it's like a primer look it gave me this fine glowing look it's helped to revive my skin and it didn't break me out so I really don't know why some people complain that it broke them out but for me it didn't break me out it didn't give me pimples or imperfection it gave me a very very subtle glow and I find it extremely hydrating the only complaint I've heard about it is that it stings the eyes so please if you don't want it to sting the eye while applying it please ensure you close your eyes rub it and then open it that way you won't experience the stingy feeling overall i rate the product highly i think it's an amazing product for the fact that it doesn't leave the white cast and you don't have to rub it to have it absorb into the skin it's milky the fragrance is okay it's easy to dispense i think basically all around it's a good product and the pros outweigh the cons so for that i'll say hatomugi is highly recommended for protection from sunburn and sun damage so that's my humble opinion on the hatomugi milky spf 50 sunscreen once again please do well to like this video and once again, if you haven't subscribed to my video, please ensure you subscribe. That's your little way of encouraging me to do more and to do more reviews as well. So please go ahead, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post my video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye.